Welcome to Servant of the Fates. Today's reading will contain messages from your future self. And I'm going to have to ask you to brace yourself. <laughs> because you know how when we think about our past self, sometimes we're very critical, sometimes we cringe, <laughs> sometimes we feel ashamed and embarrassed, but sometimes proud as well. So I don't know yet which part of that is actually going to manifest in this reading, but there could be some very brutally honest messages from your future self about who you are now <laughs> looking back at you the things that he or she doesn't like about you so the messages could be very critical so if you are very sensitive then i would advise you to not keep going <laughs> but if you are ready for this then i hope that this reading will definitely help you in your growth and in your journey pick the card that sparks a memory in you. It has your message. Guidelines below on how to do just that. Feel free to pause this video as you take your pick. As always, timestamps down below. And let's begin. If you chose the first card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Your first message from your future self. The reason that you are a failure at something, the reason why you haven't achieved this dream or lost weight or achieved that goal, is because you always prioritize your short-term happiness over the long-term. And that's honestly dumb. You are like a child. You are very childish right now. There is no maturity in the way that you always prioritize the now over the future. It's okay to live in the present, but you are overdoing it. And if you stop that, you will finally see yourself succeeding. Your second message. You are overestimating your skills and your talents. You're always complaining that people don't appreciate you enough. People don't applaud you enough. Well, it's because you're not that good. Right now, you're average. Right now, you're mediocre. You think you're so amazing. You're not, honestly. But here's the good thing. You can work on it, and you should, and you will, but you have to find the strength within you to keep going, to keep practicing. You need perseverance. You need hard work. You can't just keep hoping that people will clap and applaud you and praise you when Honestly, there's nothing to praise yet. You're very average as we speak. Your third and last message from your future self. Yes, you were born with a lot of gifts, a lot of talents. Beauty is there. Grace is there. Some smoothness in how you deal with people. But you cannot keep relying on that alone. The gifts that you were born with will not take you anywhere in this life. You have to keep working. You have to keep hoarding more talents, more skills, more abilities. You have to keep expanding your capabilities because with what you have right now, you're really not going to get wherever you want to get. I hope this helped. There you go. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the second card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. The first message from your future self. You like to fool yourself by thinking slowly but surely wins the race or that you may be slow but you're consistent. You like to think that this is the way to go forward, but it's not. You are literally falling behind you need to work harder okay no more lying to yourself about how oh this pace is okay it is not you are definitely falling behind and if you want to succeed you need to keep up the second message from your future self there's someone in your life right now that you are kind of having a flirtationship with someone that you're kind of in a fling with this is not just a fleeting thing. It will grow. It could grow into something beautiful. Okay, this water sign energy person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, K, 
can be the one that you spend the rest of your life with. So nurture this energy, keep growing it, keep embracing it, keep giving to it and believing in it because it will reward. This relationship will reward and mirror and echo your efforts. Third and last message from your future self. You are spiritually stupid, honestly. Your higher self and me, your future self, we have been sending you a lot of signs, a lot of messages, repeating numbers, synchronicities, but you don't pay attention. You are blind spiritually and you need to open your eyes because we could get tired sending you messages and after that, you're alone and you'll never get to your destination. I hope this helped. There you go. That's your reading. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the third card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. The first message from your future self. If you only listened to your mom or this female authority figure in your life, then everything would be okay. You like to think that you're better than this person. You like to think you're wiser. You like to think, oh, I'll never be like her. But honestly, right now you are crap compared to this person. You don't know half the things that she went through. And if you would only take her advice, that is the road to success to wisdom, to happiness. So stop looking down on this person because you have no reason to. Your second message. You love to pretend that you don't like trauma, but really, you thrive in it. This is something that fuels your will to live, okay? You like drama. You like conflict. You enjoy having this tumultuous energy around you and that's okay there is fire in you there's no reason to be ashamed of it just stop pretending to be something that you're not stop pretending to be so pure and angelic you are not and it's okay it's more than okay it's who you are you are fire and that's what's going to help you achieve your dream so don't turn your back on how you really feel your third and last message from your future self. You will be facing a lot, a whole lot of criticism from the people around you. And it's not just the little people, but the authority figures in your life. Teachers, bosses, parents, older relatives. There will be a lot of resistance against you, but you have to keep fighting. You have to keep thriving because success is on your side although you really need to find the strength to not be bogged down to not be depressed to not be hurt too much by all of this criticism critique that will come towards you from people that you love and look up to because they are not just saying that in order to hurt you they are saying that so that you can strengthen yourself call it tough love but it works. Trust me, I've seen it. I hope this helped. There you go. Those are your messages. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.